Hello and welcome to the Ghosts video tutorial on how to make custom turrets from scratch and get them in game. This tutorial will have three main sections, a modeling part where we actually make our turret with the base, gun, and barrels. We're going to apply a quick texture job with gray and green metal and then we'll set up our nodes and markers before exporting. The uh, next thing we'll do is we'll animate our turret with the movement animations and vehicle firing animation and then we'll set up our tags our tag directory and shaders and we'll compile our model and animation tags and then create and test the vehicle tags we just made alright uh, let's open up 3ds max here we're going to be creating a human turret and it's going to consist of three separate objects which we will create separately. They're going to be the base, the gun, and the barrels, and they're each going to have their own frame. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my base here. I'm going to speed up the video just so you can get a general idea of how you'd make a base, but I don't want to step through the whole thing as it would take a lot of time. And you can just go ahead and watch this. I'll get back to you when I'm done creating my base. Alright, uh, once you're satisfied with your base, then you can just bring them all into one single object, which we will call base. Change that to a different color here. Okay. Then we're gonna make our gun part, which is gonna be somewhere in here and then later on we'll make our barrels
Alright, and once again, we will combine all of these into one object called barrels. And let's make that that one. Alright. Now we have our three. Let's go in here and select the faces and just give these an auto smooth. Make it nice and smooth there. Do that for all these pieces. Alright, that is our... Oh wait, I want to go back and... Not make that one smooth. There. Alright, now we're going to go into a, um, like Photoshop. I use something called Corel Photo Paint. And we're going to create textures for this now. They're going to be very, very simple textures, so don't get too excited. Uh, before we do that, uh, let's go in here and save this. You're going to want to save it to your data vehicles. About a second ago, I decided on the name Roller. I don't know why, but going to create model and bitmap folders and save this in model. Alright, let's get to the textures. Go in and create a new, um, a new thing that's about 256 by 256. Just because this isn't a very detailed um, texture, it's just basic. You can go in and create your own, but for the sake of this tutorial, it's going to be very, very simple. I'm just going to create a dull gray color and give it some texture. Yeah. Nothing fancy here. Alright, and I will export that as a TIFF in the bitmaps folder. Call that Roller Metal. Alright, create another one. Which I have already made. Just because I took the green from the turret and I'm going to use it here. I did the same thing as the last one. And call that one roller body. Alright, go back into Max. Alright. Open up your vehicle and go into the material editor and set up a multi-sub object with two materials one body one metal call it roller body and roller metal 
set up your bitmaps here, roller body, and roller metal. Okay, now you have your two created. Go ahead and apply this to your mesh. As you see, it's not quite textured correctly, and we're going to go in and fix that. Let's give everything in here body except for the handlebars. Well, not the handlebars, but the place where he's it's going to rest against his chest. And let's go in and make the barrels. Let's make these metal. And in the base, go ahead and make everything body. Okay. Now we're going to do a quick UV job here. Normally you'd go in, create a real texture, and properly UV map it, but for the sake of saving time, I'm just going to do this quickly.